Hey guys, what's up? I am Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here in West Hollywood for the premiere of the new Amazon show, Mad Dogs. So tell us about your role in Mad Dogs. I play Puss. I'm the, for lack of a better term, I'm the hitman of, okay. of the show. I'm nice. the one who, uh, I'm the heavy. Okay. The one who roughs up these guys. You're the villain. Uh, the bad guy. Well, you know, I'm misunderstood. Okay. I, don't, I don't think I'm so bad. I'm just... That's what all bad guys say. Anyway. That's right. <laughs> awesome. And so you can't really tell us. Something happens in the first episode. Is that correct? Does somebody die? Uh, that's a that's probably a fair thing to say. Is okay. somebody dies? I won't say who. Okay. Um, are you involved in that in any way? I may be. I okay. mean, if you're the hitman and somebody dies, okay. chances are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And how how was filming this this uh, this show? You guys uh, filmed in Puerto Rico, and how was it like working with everybody? Oh, it was, I mean, for me, it was a blast. I mean, these guys are great, and they're tons of fun to work with, and they're total pros, and they're so present, uh, and the work conditions were real tough. I mean, it's not like, you know, we weren't in Afghanistan or anything, but it still, it was, the weather was tough, and the conditions were tough, and, and it was really, yeah, and we were outside a lot, and in jungles, and uh, and I'm wearing a mask a lot of the time. Oh, okay. But uh, for me, it was a thrill. I mean, working with these guys, and, and my character, I don't play legitimate bad guys that often nice. so getting to was really a, a kick is that what kind of like drew you to this where you're like ooh, a villain that sounds nice yeah i mean it just was so different than anything i had done yeah. uh certainly on television and so the chance to do it i thought this is this will be so cool and really challenging and yeah. and uh to keep it legitimate uh so i i had a great time i loved it that's so awesome were you familiar with the with the uk version at all well i was familiar with it i hadn't seen it and i didn't uh want to once i got this yeah for just, I didn't want it to color my perception of what we were going to do, and and um, I'm glad I didn't. I mean, now I should go back and watch it because I hear it's great, uh, but I'm glad I didn't just because I think we put on a very different production than what that is. Yeah. Um, the cat, it's a very like male heavy cast. Um, does that, how was that like off camera? I mean, what was the dyna dynamic like? Or did you guys like hang out a bunch? Or was it kind of like, I don't know, like a boy's weekend or boys I don't know four months or however long it took well it was I mean these guys are uh, I mean th the hours were so long and the thing is is all four of them are in almost every scene at least certainly for the first few episodes in every scene together so there was almost no downtime I mean there was no I mean I had time off and then I'd be by myself at the pool like <laughs> where's everybody <laughs> yeah and uh, but when working together and, and going out too I mean these guys are just great and all four of them are very different on screen and off screen, yeah. and that was, uh, but had a really great relationship, and I, I'm sure you know that's said all the time, but it really was. They yeah. were, they were four very different guys who got along great and respected each other so much. So it was a thr thrill to be a fifth wheel and just kind of come in and come out and yeah. zip in and zip out. Yeah, that's awesome. yeah. Well, I look forward to seeing the series. It was really nice talking with you. Nice to talk to you Thank too. You so Thank much. you. Thanks. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit like to like this video. Also, subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment with what you think of the show because I know you're going to watch it.